Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. Um, before I make this new how to farm gold video, I want to talk about the server rebirth. That uh, it's also a vanilla WoW server. It will also shut down. It is sad, but it is what it is. But this gives now a pretty good opportunity to make a lot of gold. I call this. I don't know, uh, season selling in World of Warcraft. Because if someone, yeah, if if the server is shutting down now, people are looking for a new server. So, and they will, of course, I would say, come to Elysium, uh, etc. So, where are you playing? Why well, I'm playing, where you're playing, I don't know. Um, this is a really good opportunity to make gold because new player need new stuff which means money for you um i just go from left to right here and explain what i mean um i'm talking this time about this kind of stuff line clothes uh pretty easy to farm for Horde, you can do this in Durata. These mobs you can find here. Let me make it bigger. They're level 9 to 10. Pretty easy. You can do this while leveling or with a level 60 character. Very easy. For Alliance, the same thing. Low level, as you can see here. And you can find them in Dunmorok and the... Uh, what's this called? Golbala quarry. Very easy to kill. And mostly you're alone there, I would say, from my experience. I mean, with all these new people who level, etc., okay, it might be a little bit crowded, but after some time, you will have your peace there and no one is bothering you. Wool cloth. Wool cloth is a little bit more tricky because. The difference from my experience is I'm not going from this percentage uh, you can see in the database here. I'm going from the from the experience I have. Um, the difference here is you have mobs f uh, between level 26 and 27 on Alliance, but on Horde 17 to 18. Sounds a little bit weird, but it worked perfectly for me. On Horde, you just go in the Barrens and kill these uh, bristleback uh, monsters, these piggies here, I don't know. These things there. Piggies. You can find them here. Pretty easy to find, pretty easy to farm. And um, Alliance, you will kill the Worgen. You can find them here. And not so easy to kill um, while leveling because the level is pretty high, but uh, it worked for me. So if you know maybe a different spot for Alliance, just go for it. I'm just giving my personal opinion what I saw from playing World of Warcraft uh, Vanilla. Um, let me jump to Silk Cloth. There I have to say, the one and only spot for me farming this is with level 60 character in Scarlet Monastery. There is no other place than farming it there. You can do this with a level 60 mage or level 60 protection paladin. I would like, I would love to show you this with a paladin, but fuck it, I got banned, my account is gone. I'm, I'm saying this in every uh, video, but whatever. I had there the rogue and the paladin. Uh, actually, it was a healed paladin, but uh, also had gear for uh, protection. So, to farm stuff, etc. Yeah, this is the one and only place where you should farm this. I would choose. Um, what is this nonsense called? Yeah, I know this now in German, but not in English. Uh, this place here. This area. Ah, uh, nice. I forgot the name. Whatever. 
this area here, right here on the right side. This one you should choose. It's the best one, I believe. Um, the next one is Rune Cloth. This is, of course, for level 50 plus, so it's not nothing for low level. Um, the best way to farm them for me was the Twilight People, or Twilight Clan, in Silitos. Here it's pretty difficult because they are 58 to 60, but if you farm them, you will have also these encrypt Twilight text which people will also give some extra gold so you're good to go for this and you see here they drop all kinds of random shit so you can sell everything like I said in the videos before don't throw away something always have empty bags enough bags and keep everything you can because it doesn't matter if it's this dew or the potion or, or the scrolls even if they're just five silver it doesn't matter keep it sell it um the mage weave cloth for my personal opinion was the best spot uh, for horde and alliance these things here in desolace there I guess few of them are invisible but uh, you can farm them pretty easy in this area here. I always farmed them there and uh, Desolace is actually a place, especially for Alliance, where not so many people are going because you have to walk all the way from the Eastern Kingdom to Kalimdor and then you have to walk through Barons, etc. and you have to walk, 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 walk and 50 years later you're there. So it's a quiet place to farm. You will have your peace and you will have what you want. Um, about the prices, it really depends on how it is at the moment. Um, the best money I made was with wool cloth on the official server. I got uh, what was this? Four, uh, 40 gold uh, for a stack of wool cloth. It's totally overpriced, I know. But as I said, I mean, I'm not going to say try to rip off people or whatsoever, but if the auction house prices are like this, then you have to deal with it. Um, because of this server is going down, rebirth, uh, <laughs> the prices will go up. It is for any kind of situation like this. If you see here a server is going down, um, you should think right away oh, there's an opportunity. You can sell stuff. What else I could say for this kind of items? I would say that's it. It's a pretty short video, I know. But I am pointing directly out where to go or what to do, not to talk around 50 corners and then in the end to say, oh, do this and I don't know. Um, I will see. I have still a few other tips and tricks, uh, locations in my mind. I will check them out. So just um, give me give me some time. And I'm. Um, I will upload another video, but for now this is it. I can put these links in the description. I guess I will do this. It's the best. And just keep farming, keep leveling, keep anything you have, sell everything you have, and you will be good to go. Take care of you. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.